Right, I'm trying something new using Japanese watercolour paper. It's much more absorbent than regular watercolour paper, but I feel like a, doing something different, so I will. I'd always wanted to be a painter. I always felt happy painting, and that's why I wanted to be a painter. The first time I knew in my heart of hearts I was going to be a painter. I went to see an Edvard Munch show with my parents. My mother had become very ill and seeing these paintings, these emotions out there for people to share made me determined that I wanted to do that. I wanted to make one day what I felt inside tangible in the way that these had made it tangible. So I'm just beginning and let's see what happens if the painting works. I would describe myself, or I have been described, maybe that's easier, as a colourist. I'm a cross between a symbolist and expressionist and Julie Heldness, I hope. Yesterday, we visited several locations which have been subject matter I've returned to again and again. The first port of call was a florist I'm very fond of. I think I discovered this place on Valentine's Day 2014. It was a very grey Valentine's and I was arrested visually by the fact that the whole of this shop was decked out in hearts and orchids. It is called Orchid, which I didn't notice till much later. And uh, that took my fancy. I had my sketchbook on me, which I tend to carry, and I positioned myself across the road against a wall so I don't feel too exposed, and I started drawing. I don't look at the detail of the individual flowers because I can pick those from my garden. Out of that came a whole series of paintings at night, during the day, sunshine, rain, you name it. I became, as I do, very obsessed with this place. Then we visited another florist, which is a more recent addition to my florist shops, which I only started working from after my brother died. I'm very interested always in inside-outside, the idea of what's outside and what's inside. And initially, that was a metaphor I used for the meaning of things, both on a symbolic and actual, and also in the end, even on a psychoanalytic, if that doesn't sound too pretentious. For myself, my paintings do have that psychological edge to them. You don't have to interpret them like that, but for me to become interested in a subject, I have to see it on a multiple layered level. I can't just say, oh, I'm going to paint a florist shop because I wouldn't have a way into it. I wouldn't have some, an idea, a concept that would sustain me with the content that I will then mine to make it my own. and I'm not talking about the subject, the subject is the florist shop, but that's not the content I work with. I love what Matisse said to a woman who was trying to criticize a portrait he was working on, that she didn't think it was a, there was enough of a likeness to the model they were working from. And he said, 
Madam, this is a painting, not a person. About 20 years ago, I did my first shoe shop painting from an actual shoe shop window as opposed to something that I had reimagined, reconjured from my memory in childhood. Each time we step into a different style of shoe, we inhabit another fantasy part of how we want to project ourselves. This metaphor, the different shoes we wear, the different steps we take in life, could also be literally a self-portrait. As I drew more and more, I, of course, came to see my own reflection in the window. There's something timeless about cities, the way they layer up. I just enjoy that so much. It has, a, to me, a psychoanalytic equivalent, the layering up of lives in the way that we layer up our emotional lives and don't always want them exposed. We want to build over them, repress them. And even if it remains a private reason for going there and a motivation, and no one sees that in my work, that's the reason I go. I'm a, it, it drives me. I'm going to load the brush this time. I want lots of pigment, less watery. Initially, I worked with watercolour as a way of working from the painting once they would got going in order to have the discipline to look at the work without picking up the paintbrush because that takes a lot of discipline. Sometimes I sit here and I just want to put marks on the work and that's not always the way to take something forward because painting isn't just about mark making, it is an intellectual process. Normally I don't invite people in till it's done. Nearly there and then I feel it's okay. I do spend time thinking why in the 21st century am I doing something so archaic. But if I'm really honest, I just like painting. There's something amazing about just picking up a piece of wood, charcoal, and just drawing. That's what I've always, always done to make myself feel I'm alive in the world and it's a way of making contact with the world.